Got a little pavement ants here, pulling the crickets apart. And on the opposite side are the meat ants, ripping the cricket apart. You can see the relentless chewing into the food. Another half an hour, 20 minutes, it'll all be gone. The design in here is for the test tubes for the ants. They're going to be the larger outwells for the meat eaters, and these are going to be for the uh, smaller ants that stay in the test tubes. What I'm going to do now is drill about 80 or 90 holes for these test tubes to go in. So they'll be sitting in here like so and uh, the ants will be living in here and over this side will be the bigger enclosures so off I go we're doing halfway half an hour later so I've got all the holes drilled I've got the paint ready now I start painting Hear all the frogs in the background. What are you doing, guys? Quiet. To wake the neighbourhood up. There yeah, he is. I mean, these are just tediously painting it. Every hole we've got to dip in. The brush isn't liking it too much, but. Right, I had to redo all the holes again because when we painted the inside of them, the test tubes wouldn't go in. But now I'm good on the holes, the chest, test tubes are going to go in quite easily. On this side here will be the outworlds. So I've got 140 here, so I'll be able to do 140 queen ants here. And there'll be four, eight, or 24 little mini worlds for our uh, jumping jacks and stuff like that. On this side there's going to be a heater, this goes under the turtle tank or where the uh, ant nest is going to be, it'll be warm. I just built this for my insect room. I've designed a water chamber in there to keep the humidity up. They can go in for a drink. And decorated the tank. And we're going to put our uh, centipedes in this one. Oh, yeah, feeding one of my blotchies. He's come out of hibernation. I'm designing at the moment over the ant water world, which I've just finished all the holes drilled in for all the test tubes and little outworlds. Spiders and centipede enclosures. These are going to be for funnel webs and big centipedes, different themes. This centipede's got a skeleton theme, he lives in the skull. This is going to be the uh, funnel web with a castle and two other ones I'm working on now. I'm making a drawbridge on that one, a little old bridge and creek. And that's why you water them system I thought of. Um, I uh, got the bottles there with water in it with uh, wicks so they can keep moisture up. They've got to be uh, kept moist. If anyone wants any of these built, let me know and I'll build them for them. I've got it down pat now. I cracked a few building it, but I know how to do it Finish now. his little house for the funnel web. Now he's going into his castle theme. We'll see how he webs it up after a while. Josh was treating it all week. And there we go. Into her new home. Going for here is an old Egyptian pot theme. There's broken vases everywhere. I'm going to put a centipede in this one. Slowly getting there, then I have to make the last one. Then we have to paint more air nests on the racks and do all the cages at the bottom. Josh is just scaring him in. Should be happy in his new home, he's been caught in that for a couple of weeks. Oh, and we'll see how she settles Okay, in. what Josh is playing here with a Sydney funnel web. It's come in with mite, so all he's doing is brushing the mites off it. The mites won't kill him, I can agitate him, so he's just giving him a bit of a clean up. So what I'm designing here, little funnel webs, a little bridge scene. Hey, that's a little bridge scene done, but I actually thought of a better idea for the water chamber. I'm gonna work on my that idea. Now. So you can't see them bottles coming up from the bottom. I'm making 
fake rocks to put around them but slide straight over the collar. I think I like that a lot better. It looks a lot more natural now than seeing the pipe. I do that to all of them. Centipede likes his new cage. I'll put a super worm in there and he's bunching away. Okay, this is my witches with the pavement ants. They've actually been putting their eggs on top of her brew. So the witch is quite hard to spell and she's gonna mix ants and eggs in a brew. Make some magic potion. That's pretty cool. I've just built a two holes with the pipe to be connected to. But for an extra feature, they'll be once they go through the holes, they'll be able to go up the top. So I'll have four little holes to go out of. Two from there and two from the top. So all I have to do now is give her a bit of a paint. What do you reckon, Roscoe? Good job? Yep. That's a boy. Every morning, there's more and more and more ants everywhere. I suppose in a few months, it's just gonna be blanketed and they'll have to increase their enclosure. I thought this would have been way big enough. I put a little cockroach earlier on there to dismantle it in a few hours. Okay, so I've made this a Jurassic Park scene in the inside world in here is a little dinosaur setup leading into the bigger dinosaur setup. I just got all I gotta do is get some uh, air plants put here and there, and that's it. Another scene done. I'm waiting for the dinosaur look. I had heaps of other dinosaurs I could have put in there, but it wasn't big enough, so I just had to pick what I had, or what would look good. And that's Roscoe in the background. Nest at the moment, Jockey's giving him a hand. Blowing the dust away, it's a very dusty uh, process. We've got to make 12 of these, so it's going to be a big job. And as you can see, I've got to dig them out then and make the nesting chamber. That's going to be for the hole for the top, and that's where the spider's going to be living. Then that gets in place into a little So what enclosure. I'm doing here is making the spider nest. So I've got a Josh done the pile it for me, then I've got to drill it out with one of these and uh, then we've got to paint it, that goes into the tank and hopefully it'll look good. If anyone ever wants any of these built, let us know and we'll build them for you. I will be selling them, but only by order. Slowly getting there, They're coming up really good. Right, uh, I've got all different models and that ready to go. I have to clean them all up and paint them. So everyone's unique and custom done. Remember, if you want any built, let me know.